And so we begin episode 61 of Zisto Plays Minecraft. Hi everybody, welcome back to the show, to the series, to the vidya, to the game, whatever. It's a sunny day, it's lovely, there's no rain, everything is pleasant, so I've got a brilliant idea. Let's spend the whole video in a cave in the darkness. <laughs> okay, we shall try not to spend the whole video that way. But uh, what I want to do today is I want to fix the rail lines and I want to hook up this network system so that we can get from A to B. I really like the idea, thank you note blocks, of having infrastructure. We've got the paths leading in either direction, two out of the four. We'll get there one day, don't want to do it all at once. Uh, I like to have rail lines doing the same thing, going out in each direction. I've done some work on this area. We've been spending a lot of time here, so I'll just run through real quick and not, not really too much to say. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work at this point. So we're just gonna see some incremental updates and focus on other things. Most recent thing I did is I added uh, this side, expanded the, the ceiling here via our, our old friend, um, Tennessee Nathan uh, Tyson. <laughs> Otherwise known as TNT. I just made up a name for him with those initials, in case that wasn't obvious enough. So what I want to do, what we're going to start with for this episode, we're going to put rail line thingy right there. It's going to have four outbound rails that is going to go in four directions in the fullness of time. If I don't have to move it again eventually, maybe, maybe we will. But anyway, I'm going to have four little rail guys. And oh, by the way, uh, I discovered a little bug in the game, and I meant to show this like three episodes ago, and I keep forgetting every episode. So what happens is if you're doing any kind of action where you're hitting with a with a tool or a block or, or your fist or whatever, and you go into your inventory, now I'm still holding down my left mouse button. I haven't let go of it. If I hit E to exit the inventory, aha, uh -huh, we have... I'm using uh, like a telekinetic power that I've suddenly gained. And you can do that with tools. And so there will be no animations. You can hear that, I can break this. But uh, I'm not swinging it. It's kind of weird. I don't think this is in the current game, but it's never really occurred to me to try. I think this is kind of a unique thing. We can use our, I basically became an X-Man. <laughs> I can now telekinetically break things. Can I use the scroll mouse wheel? Let's try that. Scroll mouse. Huh, okay. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, so there, there you go. Little uh, bug in the game. Anyway, what was I gonna do? Okay, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna put four rail lines down. And uh, this room doesn't need to be huge, so I didn't make it huge. Just put uh, a torchy there and a torchy there. Replace these guys with slabs. I have no desire to make this area like pretty yet. I want to get the two of the rail lines up and running first. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's replace this with slabs as well. Everything with the the button on it will make slabby, at least just for right now. And then we'll just replace the rest with smooth stone. If we can get away with it. Oh, I'm going to have to break that. Because the way the game works, okay, and we'll break these. There will be a tunnel here. And we'll just leave that three blocks high. There will be a tunnel here. This will be solid stone. Uh, a tunnel there. Okay, three blocks. And let's not waste our smooth stone. I go through coal at a ferocious rate, making all the smooth stone I need to make. Okay, we'll place that there, that there. One, two, three. Okay, good to go. Let's place the buttons. And then the, just the uh, the initial rail line. So we broke our one rail line that was already made when we made the, the note block entrance over there. So we're gonna have to reroute that. Uh, and we'll have these guys here. This will be where we'll launch off and return to. Kind of like that. Very simple. Simple is best, unless you have a reason not Never mind. Simple is not best, but uh, in this instance, we're going to go with the simple design. Let me tell you what, we need a little bit more light in here. Let's just do that for now. 
Okay, that, that doesn't look too bad. I don't like the torches being there, but uh, one thing at a time. So this guy is going to go through the Firelands, or the Fire Swamp, as some people in the comments like to call it, which is kind of an interesting idea. Fire Swamp. Yeah. I might have to look at uh, Swamp Biomes and see what else we can adapt from there. Anyway, okay, so this one will go to the Wetlands. This one will go that way in the fullness of time, and this one is going to go that way in the fullness of time. I don't know how. I guess it's going to have to go through whatever space is left by the time we get to that. Uh, okay, that's done. So, when I make the rail line going through here, going towards the lava area, I think what I want to do, it would be really cool if we could have it kind of up in the ceiling, so while you're writing it, you could look down and see this this cavernish room area from a new perspective. So maybe like right there, and there would be some glass blocks in the ceiling next to it so that uh, you could look down through them. Okay, time skip. I've laid out most of the rail thing for the lava bit. We're at the tricky part where I'm going to have to take some risks. Uh, this area, it's starting to come together. I took out all the trees just to make it easier to work in here. It's starting to look all right. It's definitely a work in progress. It's crazy we hollowed this whole thing out. Couldn't have done it without you, TNT, MVP of the last four or five episodes. Okay, so here's the rail line. I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough gold to make enough booster rails to lay down the track just now. We're gonna have to do a little bit of mining deep within the earth to get that gold. But here's the view I was talking about. It's gonna be a little bit different when there's trees there. We're missing a piece of glowstone, aren't we? That must have got knocked out when I was blowing stuff up. Um, but yeah, different perspective. Pretty cool. This is gonna run just above the ceiling. There's the view again. Comes down here. Blam, blam. That view, not so hot. Not so great. Maybe we can even expand that view. I'm not sure. To where you could uh, look down the whole time. I don't think that's possible, but we can see. Uh, okay, so right here. This is my little access hatch to get up into the tunnel. Um, that leads back up to the base. You're taking the reel, you're taking the path. You... Okay, tricky part. This is this is the bit that's going to be tricky. We have to go under the lava, and I don't have anything nearly as convenient as pistons to help us do it. So uh, we're going to have to see if this is even possible grass. Uh, we should be at the right level. Why is there grass there? Let's go look at it. Um, right, that, that block, that's where the lava is, that cobblestone in the wall. Let's look at it from here. Maybe we can do at least a little bit. Uh, one thing I could do is we could just... Um, oh, yeah, okay, so this is what I thought. So for now... Let's turn you into... Whoa, okay, throwing the sparks. Let's just turn that into stone for now. I'll turn it back into gravel later. We are one block beneath the surface. I guess if we really have to... I could fill the whole thing in with gravel all the way through and then go get the source blocks in, in underground somewhere, I guess, to fill in the top afterwards. That's if I can't figure out a way to do it without doing that. I would prefer not to have to do that because that's going to be a huge pain in the butt to get all those source blocks. If we have to, we will. Okay, so uh, what we got to do... That right there is the lava. Oh, you know what? We might have to go down one more level. Uh, okay, so is this... Yeah, that's the air. Uh, ooh, little lava blade. We need to go one block lower because I want this block to be glass. Uh, all right, so let's just dig down one block further. If we did it at this level, we would have to put a roof above their head. I want it to, the tunnel to be at least three blocks high. Because otherwise, we won't be able to hop off without taking damage, getting clipped into the wall or something. Whatever happens when you do that. Turn these into stone. And the floor into cobblestone. And then we're going to have to see if this possible. It might not quite work. It might not work. We'll see. I might have to do... I might have to actually go find a silly amount of lava source tiles... But it's going to look awesome if we can get it to work. Okay, so here, 
That needs to turn to glass, right? Yes, I think so. Uh, let's see, there's no way I'm gonna need my bow here. Um, and tell you what, let's just, let's put it there. Oops, okay, I already screwed up. Hello, lava. Go away, please. Okay. Good. Okay, we did it. We made one. Um, now... <laughs> it's gonna be so tricky. Uh, oh! Ladders! Ladders it would be a good idea. Let's use the ladders. That will keep out Mr. Lava Pants. Okay. Uh, brilliant! I thought up a good idea. So we can replace that with ladders as well. So, oh, oh, very carefully. Don't take damage. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so let's just get, can I get rid of this block? No. Um, I'm trying to think about the order I need to do this in. I need to turn that block into glass as well. So that means I need to place a ladder there to keep, ouch, ouch, stab it, to keep the lava out. Okay, success. I think we can kind of do it this way, step by step. Uh, okay, so then this, for now, I'm gonna change the lava, or to glass, I'm gonna change that to glass. We need to do the same thing here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm sorry. We need to get rid of that block first. Maybe that's an idea. Uh, oh, let's go. Oh. Ow, 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 stop, oh. stop, oh. Oh, stop. Oh. No fun. <laughs> Play fair. Okay, change this to a ladder now. And then turn that to glass. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. Slowly but surely, we can do it. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, I don't know how far down the floor of this thing goes, but I, th I want it to be kind of like that. Obviously not that deep because we're, well, we're just starting to get into the, uh, the lava, the lava river lake. In fact, I might, well, we'll see. We'll see once we get a little bit farther in. Now we can get rid of that. Hopefully, uh, oh, dang. I cannot place ladders on, on glass. I might have to do this. Hmm. Might have to do this uh, step by step. Oh, 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 God. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, the damage. The damage is real. Damage is real. Damage is real. Okay, think about what you're doing. Close that. Um. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay, I should be able to do this now. Yes. Let's eat some food. We are not in a patch where your health automatically regenerates. And then very carefully come up here. So, good news is, I've got it down to a formula, a routine. Bad news is, uh, I've got to go another 30 blocks to finish. So, here's what we're doing so far. I'm basically doing a section and on one side and then coming back on the other. Oh, no, you don't want this. You want to do this with the with the shovel. I just swear I've got it down to a routine. I promise. There we go. Okay, flood that side. That's glass. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, I just go down a section. If you remember, the ground originally was fairly flat, so I kind of forgot that. But the, the lava lake thing is not very deep, turns out. Good thing that lava is totally opaque because it gives a nice sense that the lake is deeper than we kind of think it is. Okay, let's put a torch down just for some extra light till the lava gets there. Here's what we do. Uh, do a section like this, just sort of laying the groundwork. When we come and we bust that, the ladders keep it from dropping down. We need to place two glass there and there. Then we can break this, place a cobblestone, place a ladder. Then we can break the one before it, like that. And then every three blocks, we've got to do this. Break six of them, like that. Lovely. So that we get this nice drapey lava effect on either side as we go down. 
Bad thing is I got another 30 blocks of this to do, but uh, it has become fairly routine. And the important part, I guess even more than uh, the routine part, is that it's safe. I'm not really worried about taking damage. I don't have to swap ladders back and forth. It's not, it's not as tricky as I thought it was going to be originally. Oh, you know what? Okay, I have forgotten something. I've forgotten to come back in and do this. I need to, I need to modify my routine a little bit. But other than that, we should be fine. Should be fine. So, remember this place? This is the sand outpost we created to get sand for the glass for the nether hub. And now for the tunnel going underneath the lava, which I've finished. But I'm out of gold, so I figured why not make a quick little tunnel here. Yush! <laughs> and see if we can't find a cave. And lo and behold, I did. Lucky, lucky. Otherwise, I, I just really wasn't in the mood for making a strip mine. Oh, let's hang on. Let's be smart about our torch placement so we can find our way out of here. Torch is on the right. We'll get you home. There's some coal. I'll get the coal on the way back. We don't need to get that now. Let's see. We are at uh, Y equals 25. Should be deep enough. I'll get that on the way back, too. Should be deep enough. Dang it. <laughs> well, that was a tiny cave. All right. Dug down a little bit deeper. That's where we were just a moment ago. And I think there might just be a cave right there. And we are going to get into a little bit of trouble here. I don't have a lava. Lava bugger would be lovely right now. We don't need one. We know how to do this. And I'm hearing slimes and running water. Oh, the running water might be that. Should be very, 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 very close. We don't need this on anymore. Are we one block too low? No, should be right here. There we go. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's let's go one block lower. One block lower. Want to bite their ankles? We'll get some. Please be a bigger cave. There's a slime. Oh yes, looks at least a little bit bigger. Where'd the slime go? Redstone. Okay, I'll take the redstone. In like 13 hours, when it that finishes, fantastic. Okay, so we've got one little source. I, there's gonna be lava over there, I'm gonna guess. Let's, uh, oh, let's fill up my water bucket. It's a good use. I made another safe fall thingy and I lost my water bucket. There's a little bit of lavas. Okay, good. Um, if I need to get mass loads of lava, I should remember where this is. I'll take a screenshot. That's what I mean when I say remember. Hello. Oh, there's no crits in the game, are there? Are there crits in this patch? I have no idea, actually. Maybe we should test that. I don't recall. But I'm not seeing any gold. We're gonna have to keep looking. <laughs> Peekaboo! I see you! Hello. Oh, you're dead. Oh, okay, there's a skeleton. This guy's sneaking on us. Boink! No, he's not dead. Not dead! Okay, lovely. Alright, let's just keep our wits about this. Skeleton there. Nothing behind me. Okay, uh, not so bad. Let's look around here. Dead end! Another dead end! Oh man, jackpot! One gold ore. I need at least six. If we're gonna do anything of significance, need six. I think that will get us six booster rails. I've got, I think, six or so, or maybe ten, something like that. At the moment, I'm gonna need at least, at least six more. There's more gold up there. I've obviously already been through here, because it's all torched up. And I took all the, uh, all the other stuff out of the walls. Well, most of it. Okay, there's another one. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, let's just do a little cursory probing here. Okay, nothing. Uh, all right, so that's three. We need three more, and I know there's at least one other location. Easy to get lost in here, but I, I remember there being another one. Oh, okay, I mean, obviously I missed this whole little area. Let's not fall into the hot gooey stuff. Uh, coal, let's just do that later. 
Follow the torches. Torches on the right lead outwards. Torches on the left take us back to where we began. Okay, this is obviously not it. Okay, torches on the left. Backtrack. Three. Okay, there's at least one other spot. We just have to find it. These caves are a bit confusing. Might be down there. Oop. Okay, found something else. A bit dark up there. But there is some lapis lazuli. Lovely. Okay, let's see if we can't locate it. Is it up here or is this a dead end? Dead end? We already walked up there. Dead end. Okay, let's go down. I think it was a bit lower. That was a dead end. I think there was some part. I just remember that the cave kind of turned back around upon itself. Let's walk down this way. Let's not get hit by the stray ash. There we go. Knew it. Knew it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's how many we need. All right. Test run time. First inaugural running of the uh, the Fire Swamp rail line. Let's see how it goes. We got to get up to the level of the observation area. And, oh, turns out the minecart blocks three quarters of the view. That's fantastic. You can just see a tiny little sliver of the view right there. Oh, cobblestone. That's delightful. So glad I made that big effort to put the rail line up there so we can have that tiny little sliver. I'll have to work on that. Maybe two blocks of width of glass instead of just one. Here's the real money shot, though. Lava. Yes. Okay, and then up through the thing. And then, and then a brown sheep and a white sheep. Fantastic. Yeah, we ran out. Uh, I, I don't have any more gold. That's as far as it got us, and it only works one way. We we're only able to make it this far because of all of the uh, the downhill that we could take advantage of gravity to get over here. To get back, we're going to need uh, a significant amount of more gold, and we still have to build more of the rail line. Still a lot to do. But uh, pretty good progress for the day, I do believe. Uh, and that is about is going to do it for this episode. I'm out of time to record. Got to get this thing edited and uploaded for your viewing enjoyment. Hope you had a good time watching my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.